is up you guys welcome back to yet another video i did promise you know a lot more content as you guys remember from last video i picked up my dream car and today we're gonna focus on maintenance by maintenance i mean we're gonna do an oil change on the car probably one of the most important maintenance things on any vehicle is the oil shout out to fcp euro Let's see what we got in store yes I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people in the BMW community like to run Liquid Molly. Therefore, I am going to be running Liquid Molly as well. 5W40, got our oil filter, man filter. And an extra quart or two, I think seven quarts total. Uh, I also got brake pads. Uh, those will be for another video. They messed up my packaging, but it's okay. Brakes are fine. Car is up on jack stands right now. Uh, one thing I do recommend, jack pads just because BMWs have the jack points and their jack points are basically a square jack pad slide right through and support a jack to then lift up the car so as you guys can see got my jack stand and my jack pad right there so do look into these I recommend them all right so let's open up the hood and get started with this oil change let's open up the hood and let's go into the engine bay Please don't mind the dirty car. We've been struck with wildfires here in California, so let's get to it. Materials that you guys will need for the install, a drain container or a catch can, a rag, any dirty rags fine. The BMW oil filter housing cap, oil filter, a ratchet and a 13 millimeter socket, as well as your oil. You have to get under the car and slide the oil catch can underneath. Under the car, you're gonna locate the drain bolt, which is right there. Once you have located your drain bolt, 13 millimeter, lefty loosey, you're gonna break it loose so the oil can come out. Now you slowly just wanna remove the bolt. If you got quick hands, you will not get any oil on your fingers, so like that. Let that drain. Now we go and move to the top. Uh, I got caught in the action. While we let that drain, we're gonna move to the top and start on the oil filter right here one thing i do like to do is to actually open up the engine oil cap relieve any pressure next things next you're going to want to grab your oil filter cap and you're going to just slide it right on top it should be a snug fit as you guys can tell there's very little play you're then going to grab a socket to remove this top hat you're going to need a 23 millimeter socket for the actual bolt on top to then loosen up the oil cap, take the oil filter out and replace it with a new one. Now you're just gonna wanna loosen it, lefty loosey. Once the filter is pretty much loose, you can then do it by hand. You're then gonna wanna grab a rag so you don't get any engine oil on your engine. And you're gonna slowly pull out the old filter. Do let some of the oil drain. And there you go. Time for the new one. Uh, this should come with a gasket for the large seal as well as a small one right here But that should be included in the packaging right here. We have In the box we will find the new oil filter And the rubber seals or gaskets that are required as well as a drain bolt crush washer So we will be using all of this on to this so you're gonna take the old one out. I like to reuse the new box for the old filter just so it's like not getting anything else dirty. We're then going to take off this seal and this seal right here, which will be replaced with that. So there we go, we got both of these out. So as you can tell, this one goes here, that one's off. And this one goes right here, both are off. Time for the new ones. So one thing I do like to do, uh, I would recommend it, is just grab some old oil from inside the housing and lubricate the new gasket. So with the big one and the same thing on the smaller one right here. Once that's all lubricated up, and then just slide it and pop it on. New gaskets are on. Time to swap in the new oil filter. Made in Germany, just the way we like it. Just pop it right on and we're good to go. We can now go ahead and add the new oil filter. And just twist it right on. Once it's on, tighten it up. And the oil filter housing is good to go. All right, time to go back down under the car. Don't forget your crush washer for the drain bolt. Now that the oil has finished draining, you're gonna grab your drain bolt with the new crush washer, which is right there. So new crush washer and then drain bolt 
gets plugged up. I typically thread it by hand, just so you don't risk, risk any cross threading. Once it's pretty snug, take your ratchet, just tighten it up. And you're gonna wanna torque this to 25 foot pounds of torque. And then you're good to go. Now that everything's tight down there and the oil filter is on, it's time to grab our oil and start adding and topping off the engine. So next thing's next, just add oil. 6.9 quarts recommended on these S55 platforms. So let's get to it. What I love about the Liquid Molly is the fact that it has a little neck slash extendable, yeah, an extendable neck to make this job a whole lot easier. Now we just get every single drop, every last drop, because you know, why let it go to waste? Now we just cap it up, get to go. Oil cap, oil filter are on, drain bolts on, we're good. So that pretty much wraps it up. Only thing left to do now is actually turn the car on and read the oil level with the built-in function on these newer bmws because if you know about the platforms you know that these newer bmws don't have any oil dipsticks to measure your oil manually therefore you have to measure it with the built-in measuring tool built into the system you know it's pretty handy but at the same time it's kind of not anything left to do now is turn on the car i don't have the key let me go grab the key okay now that we have the keys we can actually turn the car on. Once we turn the car on, we're gonna have to let it warm up just because, you know, we just did an oil change. The car's been sitting for a while. The oil does need to warm up in order to get through the whole engine and then display up here on the screen. So let's do that. Okay, so the car has been warming up for a while now. What you're gonna wanna do is come to your center console. You're gonna press the menu button. Once on the display, you're gonna scroll down to vehicle info. You're gonna press select. You're then gonna go to vehicle status and you're gonna scroll down to where it says engine oil level. So you're gonna press on it and it says okay right now, but what we wanna do is actually go to measure engine oil level. So that's gonna allow the computer or the basically the oil system in the engine to calculate exactly how much oil you have. As you can see, you have to be either in park or neutral. Now, it's only gonna give you this option once the car is warmed up. If the car is not up to temp, the start measurement is simply not gonna be highlighted and you're not gonna be able to press on it. But since we've let the car warm up, it says start measurement, click on it. Now that so once it hits 100, we'll then know whether or not we need to add oil or if we're topped off and we're ready to jam. Okay, we're rounding down or rounding up, I would say, and boom. So that little green bar represents the min and maximum. As you guys can see, we're like right on the money. So there you guys have it. Oil is up to spec, exactly where we needed it to be. That's exactly how you're gonna measure your oil when it comes to doing an oil change for any future references. That's the way to go. Now we can just go back to menu and go about it. So I'm gonna close it off right there. Simple oil change on the BMW. Some basic maintenance, uh, next things next. Um, there's a lot for this car. I think the next thing to come is I do need to do the brakes on this car. They're not out just yet. As you guys saw, the brake pads also came in, so that would definitely be next. Uh, apart from that, stay tuned. Plenty more for this, this car to come. I guarantee you that. As you can see, the project's in the back. I'm gonna keep that discreet for now. But yeah, like always, like, comment, subscribe, and keep it authentic. Peace.